Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on my channel. As you can see, four out of five nails are done. Um, please excuse the state of my fingers. This is what happens when you use a ceramic e-file bit on one hour's sleep. Major, major rookie mistake. Um, however, it'll heal and alcohol keeps it clean. So. Yeah, just ignore that. So what I'm going to do, I've got my tip ready here to go on. And what I want to try today for the first time is a pink and white ombre. I've never done that with the poly gel. So we're going to try it and see how it goes. So I'm using the Burano. Um, I, I really like this poly gel. But I've never tried the white. I've literally just taken the, the foil top off it. As you can see, it hasn't even been squeezed out. It's so clean. Um, so we're going to try it and see what happens. So I'm going to go and do my tip, file it into shape and such like, and prep the nail, and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got a tip on and filed. I've got a prep done. I've got a base coat on. So I've tipped out some alcohol. It says it's a slip solution. It's the one I got with the set, but it's not. It's just alcohol. 100% isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to start with the white, just because I think that's what you should do. I have no idea what I'm doing here, so please don't take this as a lesson or a tutorial. This is just me trying stuff. I think better move that or I'll cure it in the lamp. Okay, let's see about spreading this out. I'll probably speed this up because I faff for a long time with poly gel. Okay, so I'm going to give this a flash cure, probably for about 10 seconds. Um, I don't want to fully cure it because I think I need it a wee bit squishy. So I'm going to cure this for 10 seconds and I'm going to open another bottle of poly gel and I'll be right back. Okay, I actually cured it for 30 seconds because white poly gel is notoriously difficult to cure and sometimes it doesn't cure. Thanks for that motorbike. It doesn't cure all the way through. So I decided to put it in for 30 seconds. Right, let's try with the pink and see how we go. Again, I'll probably speed up because I'm a faffing around. Okay, so you won't see it on the video, but that's just actually taken me about six minutes of faffing around to get it like this. Um, so I'm going to cure this, I'm going to give it a full cure. And then we're going to get to filing. Now I'm not fussy about building an apex or structure or anything because I am going to file this to hopefully not take away the blend, but just to take the bulk down and then I'm going to cap it in clear to build the the structure. So I'm going to cure this for the full minute and I'll be back. Okay that was a major heat spike um, and it's run a wee bit but that's the poly gel it's a wee bit runnier so we'll have to fix that with filing. So I am going to clear this up because I don't want any filings getting on any of this stuff so I'm going to clear this away for the time being and I'll come back and I'll do a wee bit of the filing on camera and see how awkward it is but if it starts pissing me off I'm going to do it off camera okay so I'll be back 
Right, so I'm going to use a hand file. No idea how this is going to go, but however, let's start by sorting the side walls so they're coming straight out. I'm really worried about taking away the blend because I'm filing, but I don't know how else to do it. I didn't bother hunting for a video to do this. I wanted to just ad lib and kind of freewheel it down a hill with no brakes. <laughs> so, depending on how this turns out, I would appreciate hints and tips and help. And then I'll maybe try this again the next time I do a, a complete change. Obviously, you can't do this with an infill, but... I'm trying to be gentle here, but... Sorry. Because, as I say, I don't want to take away the blend. I know the blend's not perfect, but... And I've got to remember, my fingers are quite... tender. Because of when I was taking off the old product. I did do myself a bit of damage. Don't ever use an e-file with shaky hands. There we go, Phoebe's lesson of the day. I'm not fussed about filing this thin. Do you know if I go too far with it? Not here because, I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm going to build it with a clear for the strength and the structure. So all I'm fussy about here getting a shape right I'm going off camera because it's just too awkward to try and file over here I can't get it right here we are file buff top coated and oiled um, I haven't done the other ones yet, I don't know what I'm doing with them. But I'm, I'm happy enough with it for my first attempt. And as you can see, it hasn't ended up bulky. It's a nice shape, it's got a nice curve to it. It's a slight C curve, but it's still there. And it's a nice shape, it's not too bulky. It's Yeah, I'm happy enough overall with all of that. I'm just not sure about the blendy bit. So, if you have... Any help for me? Let me know down below. We're going to shout out today and we're going to shout out Selma, Salma, sorry, who is nails by underscore S, I think, but she'll be linked down below. And we are also going to shout out Tammy from Tammy's Manny's. I love watching her. She is funny, she's so talented, so, so talented. So I want you to go and visit both those profiles. And remember, if you can, please give my girls watch time. Um, they don't have a lot of time left to be getting the, their watch time in before their, their timing's reset and they have to start all over again. So please, please, if you're not using your laptop or a phone or a TV, please just run YouTube with these girls on loop and give them the watch time that they need. Thank you so much for being here. See you next time. Bye.